Hey guys, um, I had to come on here super fast because earlier I saw that a truck had caught fire in New York City. Now, um, the Jimmy the Fish picture thing that I always talk about, it um, is the same as the iPet Goat oil scene. When the oil, you see the oil pumping and, and it drips down, drips down, it's like super dark and like eerie looking. Okay. That's the darkness and the oil dripping into the people, to God's people. We're being refreshed, or we're being filled, right, with oil, with new oil, since 717, okay? But uh, let me read this to you, and I'll kind of tell you what I'm seeing here. Train carrying crude oil derails, catches fire in Whatcom County. Evacuations were ordered. Evacuations ordered. To catch fire, oil train. Today is Polar Express Day on my ma on my calendar. So I know that that this is something the Lord, the Lord is saying. I believe that His church is is about to catch fire, and we're gonna go out and and tell the people. Possibly bring in that wheat harvest, right? The barley's being tested and refined right now. Tested hard. <laughs> Who knew that the mirror of eternity would turn out this way? Did any of y'all realize that that's what we're going through? This training, this testing. I noticed it today and then yesterday as well. But um, but but we are. We're going through the mirror of eternity where the Lord. Right? We're as if we were in court. <laughs> the Lord's saying courtland, courtland, courtland. But as if we were in court and, and we're we're being we're watching our lives reviewed, okay? And we're seeing where we've gone wrong and where we've done it right. Where we've gone wrong, where we've done it right. And we're also seeing I am at least seeing that I have absolutely no power. <laughs> I have no control over anything. Absolutely none. Um, my choice and my 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 power is to say yes to the Lord and no to Satan. And um, I feel the physical effects from that. But other than that, I'm just I'm given these options, right? Um, the Lord is Almighty, all powerful, and He does align everything for us. So if you don't think you have a hedge around you, wait till the Lord says, I'm going to lift my hedge and let you see what it's like, because that's what happened to me recently. Right now, actually, the Lord lifted his hedge and I've, I've been able to see what it's like um, to be attacked in this way without without Christ. And I mean, I was fully aware that he did this. It wasn't like Christ was like piecing out on me like he he was showing me something you know and and it was on the last polar express day that this began and it was like express training okay um if you guys kind of get the play on words here it's that's what i'm getting at so the lord is about to pour out this someone this anointing upon his people glory mantles um and 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 your calling is going to be made clear. And he's setting us on the right path. He's straightening our roads. He's showing us where we veered off and where we need to get back on. And where we've, you know, continued on and done good. And where we need help. So just listen and accept the testing. Even though it's hard. Like, it, it truly, it really is hard. Like, I kind of thought, like, man, I live a really a simple life, you know, and I thought I had weeded out most of the world that I wouldn't be subjected to so many situations to allow my flesh to sin or me to sin, right? And then I've spent all my time trying to learn about Christ, yet, I don't know, like, it, he's just shown me really that we are not worthy at all, you guys. Like, we're not worthy whatsoever. Don't think you're worthy. Like, 
He is humbling people in humility. <laughs> we are not worthy at all. So we should just, just thank the Lord today. And, and remember to continue to thank Him. Because you're about to be endowed with this anointing. Alright, we are chosen from, from God like Christ he chose us as his people. So, um, but that's all I wanted to say. I'm going to let you guys go. God bless y'all and have a good night.